In our morning rounds, the secrets of building up your brain, New York University professor Wendy Suzuki experimented on herself. As a neuroscientist, she wanted to unlock her mind's potential. Her TED Talks describing what she learned have been watched more than 65,000 times, and she's brought her messages to audiences all around the country. I say, I want it, I want it, I want a stronger brain. You say? I want it, I want it, I want a stronger brain. I want it, I want it. I want it, I want it. Wendy Suzuki's new book is called Healthy Brain, Happy Life. Good morning to you, Wendy Suzuki. Good morning. This book, I thought, was so personal because you, yeah. you describe yourself as fat and fearful, fat and fearful, 40 and frumpy, yeah. that you looked around and your business life was a success, but your personal life was a mess. Yeah. And you, something happened to you that you said, I need to get this under control. Yeah. So I had gone on a river rafting trip in Peru, and I was having a great, great time, but we were um, on the banks forming a human kind of fire line to get all the equipment from the from the boats to the shore and I realized that I was the weakest link in that chain and everybody else was helping me you know push those packets over and that was the thing that made me say okay I cannot be the weakest link of the chain. I want to go, and I really want to get fit now. This is my wake-up call. You go to the gym, and yeah. your brain goes crazy. Yes, yes. Well, it took, you know, it didn't happen overnight. It took a year, year and a half to really get that steady exercise going. But once I did, I noticed not only that my mood was better, because everybody notices their mood is better with, with exercise, but I noticed, especially when I was writing grants, so I'm a scientist and I write grants all the time, that my attention was better. It was better focused when I exercised. And my long-term memory was better as well. And I've studied memory for 20 years, so that really made me sit up and take notice. So we saw you in that video doing some punches. Yeah. That's yeah. part of it's Intensati, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a fitness uh, um, workout called Intensati, and it pairs physical movement from kickboxing and dance and yoga and martial arts with positive spoken affirmations. So I call it intentional exercise. You're pairing movements like punches with I am strong now. And you do the whole class kind of stringing together these different affirmations. And it's a little bit silly, but it is a lot of fun. And it actually, um, the idea is you're replacing a negative thought with a positive thought. Can we train our brain to memorize better? Yes, you can. And and that happens because um, the part of the brain that I study is a part of the brain critical for long-term memory called the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is one of only two brain areas that, uh, where new brain cells can be born in adulthood. So all of us have new brain cells born in our hippocampi. But the secret is that exercise can actually enhance the birth of those new brain cells in the hippocampus. And I don't know about you, but I want as many brand new brain cells in the hippocampus as I can. And studies in rats have shown that rats that exercise have significantly better long-term memories than rats and, and, that don't exercise. And what's the best kind of exercise? Yeah, so we know the most about aerobic exercise, exercise that gets your heart rate up. But we're still trying to figure out what is the optimal form of exercise. That's one of the questions that I'm trying to answer well, you in mentioned, my We mentioned four minutes four minute going yeah. into. Yeah, for, so four minute brain hacks is what I filled the book with, which is basically, it's not a scientific four minute, it's just, it's uh, more practical. So these are quick, easy, four minute things to help anybody kind of start two. to give get it. So uh, uh, one of my favorites is listen to a song that really makes your feet tap and, and walk up the stairs during the, the duration of that song. Once the song is over, you can go take the elevator again, but that just gets you moving. You can, um, as you're brushing your teeth, you can do squats or, or um, side bends uh, during that time because you're not doing anything else. And um, have a fifth pillow fight. Make it fun. Yeah, the mind-body connection. We exactly. hear more and more about it. Wendy Suzuki, yeah. thank you.